You might not think of cows when you think of drones, but here at the University of Kentucky, one research project is exploring how autonomous drones can monitor the health of cattle in pasture. Let's check it out. In this lab, student researchers are test flying drones or unmanned air vehicles, specially made to lock onto and track a moving object while flying in formation. That's the first step in creating a system that can monitor cattle out in the field. Zach LePay is pursuing a PhD in mechanical engineering and is the student researcher leading these drone test flights. So Zach, why is there a cow in the middle of this room? So we're actually working on a project that's actually monitoring uh, cattle health. And the way we're trying to do that is using non-invasive non method with a UAV. And so what we're going to try and do is basically fly these drones in formation around this cow to gather images so that way we can determine some health characteristics. The drones work in a set of four. An observer drone flies at the highest altitude between 90 to 270 feet above the herd. This drone uses downward facing cameras to track motion and determine the location and orientation of each cow. That information is relayed from the observer drone to three worker drones flying in formation below. Those worker drones take that location information and use it to pinpoint a specific cow and gather health monitoring data like volume, weight, or even body temperature. The team is using drones that talk to each other with the help of Raspberry Pi and wireless connections. The setup in this lab uses multiple cameras to replicate the observer drone. And then there's Chuck, the model cow used to represent the cattle. Right now, the team is focused on fully automating the drone flights. So everything is completely autonomous. We have a failsafe where the pilots are, can take over if things go a little unstable, but other than that, basically what happens is, is that I communicate with a computer operator who um, sends, basically presses keystrokes on the uh, keyboard on the, the uh, ground station computer. The other piece of the cattle monitoring puzzle is creating image processing software that can recognize what a cow should look like. To do that, they need to take images of a cow and build a 3D model. Michael Sama, Associate Professor of Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering, is working on creating a system to do just that. Okay, Mike, so tell us a little bit about the image processing that's going into this project and how you're getting a good image of a cow. Sure, yeah, so what we're doing here is actually taking a bunch of images uh, uniformly spaced all around the cow and then we're stitching it together using photogrammetry to try to build a 3D model. And uh, in this example we actually have all the possible images uh, from nine different flight paths and what we're trying to do is figure out can we take less images and get the same model out of it. The 3D modeling software this research project is using is machine learning based and that's why they've built this pin. To train it they'll bring actual cattle in and capture a simultaneous image with these 40 cameras. Once the software has been trained to reliably identify a cow in the pasture, the team can aim for recognizing each cow individually with facial recognition or other markings. Like the drones we saw in the first lab, the photo pin and 3D modeling are still in development. So the goal of all that lab research is to create a real world application and to see that in action, we're headed to a farm just outside of campus where we'll get to see some real cattle. the team is test flying drones near the cattle to gauge the cow's reactions. They use heart rate monitoring and behavioral changes to watch for any signs of stress. The team performs five test flights per week over three days, then gives the cows four days of rest. Each test flight lasts only five or 10 minutes, but helps the team see how the system would work in real life. So far, the cows haven't shown signs of stress. The next step is automating this entire process and evolving it to include health monitoring and facial recognition to keep track of each cow and its vitals. Jesse Hogue, associate professor in UK's Department of Mechanical Engineering, is the lead researcher on this project. Where do you see this being applied out in the real world someday? Well, the hope is that someday the technology we're developing in this project could be used by small herd cattle farms early in the beef production process, where you may only have 50 cattle, but those cattle are spread across a large plot of land, and this would reduce the burden on the cattle producer by being able to do some autonomous health monitoring. The team's research is planned to continue through 2021, and although they won't be creating a product for consumers, it's a proof of concept that can really change the way cattle farmers work. And after our day on the farm, it looks like the cows are more bothered by people than flying drones. Mm -hmm.